Hey everyone, we're going to talk about painting basics in this video along with how to start painting your color wheel and how to mix secondary and intermediate colors. So we're going to take a look at the parts of a brush. We're taking a look at an Art 1 brush right now. This same, these same parts apply to the Art 3 and Art 1 high school brushes as well. At the top we have our bristles, underneath that we have the ferrule, and then we have the handle. The paint that we will be using is tempera paint. So we are going to start talking about basic brush strokes and how to do a basic brush stroke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my brush with paint just like this and then I'm going to start at the center of the vanishing point that you see in the middle of the color wheel and go outward. And I'm going in the same direction in nice even strokes. Now this is not a crayon or a colored pencil so don't do that. So whenever you go back and forth on your brush on your bristles like that it messes up the bristle, bristles. So you want to make sure that you're going in the same direction going towards the end of the color wheel just like that. You want to make sure that you load up your brush with paint and that you don't have too thin of paint because if you do it's not going to cover the paper completely. So once you know how to correctly paint brush strokes on your manila paper for your color wheel, you can go ahead and start painting your color wheel using the primary colors. You should paint your red, yellow, and blue section. So now that you have all three of those painted, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to mix your secondary colors and then we'll talk about how to mix your intermediate colors. So just as a review, secondary colors are made by mixing two primary colors. You always start with the lightest primary color first. Let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing orange. Orange is placed in between yellow and red, so yellow and red are the colors we're going to mix together to make orange. I'm going to start off with yellow and a very, very small amount of red. You're going to start mixing in the red into your yellow just like this, turning the brush, making sure that you get all the yellow off of your paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and keep mixing. Be patient. It's okay. This is, it's okay if it's a slow process. You're learning how to mix colors right now for those of you who have never done this before. So once you get the hang of it, it'll be a lot easier. You can double check to see if your color is the correct color by comparing your um, color wheel to mine. My uh, teacher sample is going to be on the white board at the front of the classroom next to the screen. So now I think that we've got a pretty good orange. We're just going to go ahead and start painting that orange onto our color wheel. Just like this, starting from the center, going all the way out in nice even brush strokes that are going in the same direction. Something that is slightly annoying that you're going to see with your Art One brushes is that the bristles sometimes easily fall out and they fall into your uh, painting area. If that happens, you just very gently start pushing the bristle out um, towards the edge of wherever you're painting and then you can take out the bristle like that. Or if you have long nails, you can very carefully just pick it out of where you're painting. So once you have your orange um, completely covered, you can go ahead and start mixing your other secondary colors, green and violet. And then after you're done with that, we'll start mixing your intermediate colors. So here's another review. Intermediate colors are made by mixing a primary and a secondary color. You're going to mix them in the, same, in the same way, making sure to start with the lightest color first. So now that I have my primary and my secondary colors down on my color wheel, I'm going to start mixing my intermediate colors. I'm going to start with um, yellow, orange, and red, orange, and I'm going to start with the lightest one, the lightest intermediate color, which is yellow, orange. 
So I just need a small amount of red to mix into my yellow. And I'm just gonna mix it very, very well, making sure that I don't leave any um, yellow in my brush. So if I feel like that uh, yellow isn't, that yellow orange isn't yellow orange enough, I'm gonna again just add a little bit of red at a time until I get the correct color. So whenever you're mixing intermediate colors, you are trying to find a color that is in between the primary and the secondary color. I like to see if my color is correct by placing my brush very briefly in between the primary and the secondary colors. And then I'll do sometimes one little brush stroke just to see if it works. And as I started painting this, I thought that it was a good yellow orange, not too orange and not too yellow. So once you have your yellow orange colored, you can go ahead and start doing the intermediate colors for all of your color wheel. Um, for red orange, I would just add extra red to my yellow orange. And if you wanna double check your uh, color wheel, you can double check yours with my teacher example on the whiteboard next to the screen. You can also look on Google Classroom for a time-lapse video of me doing the entire color wheel. If you have any questions, please ask in class or email me or contact me through Google Classroom. Again, double check Google Classroom and look at that time lapse video of me making the color wheel from start to finish. Thanks and have fun!